and uh, they're going to be in business together because both are now represented by Hollywood's legendary William Morris Agency. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Jim. 87, 84, six rounds to three, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, I tell you something. It's one thing I love that he does that I'm, I'm sure the judges see. He measures you with that left hand. He leaves it out, and then all of a sudden he throws a hook off it, just like he did right there. I mean, he's doing that, and Zam can't stop it. He's laying the great right hand to the body. Right. I think he's won five rounds in a row, six to three, Mayweather. Lennox, we see it over and over and over. The trainer implores his fighter to let his hands go. The fighter goes back into the ring and doesn't do it. Why? Because the trainer isn't getting hit, right? <laughs> True. It's, it's a lot easier than it looks. I mean, harder than it looks. And Floyd Mayweather is a brilliant counterpuncher, increasingly so in this fight. So Zab knows quite well, despite his fabulous speed and quick hands, that if he throws, he might get hit in return. Meanwhile, Mayweather is doing fine, leading the aggression. Now Judah begins to throw the punches his father wanted to see. And I got to hand it to Yoel tonight. He's not one of those father trainers who just stands in the corner and says, it's okay, son, everything's fine. He's trying to tell Zab the truth about the fight. Body shots again by Mayweather. One, two, three, and Judah backs off. Left to the body, left upstairs, right to the body. Break, step back, step back. So okay. far, Judah has at least redeemed his reputation for a glass jaw. Break, step back. He's taken a lot of hard, clean shots. I just love the way uh, Floyd throws that double right hand. You don't really see that too much in boxing. He can even throw tri triple, triple right hands. As long as he comes back with the hook, that's going to make him a great boxer. Well, he's already a great boxer, that's for right. sure. Step back, step the number back, one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the sport, and the more you watch him, the more you appreciate him. Absolutely. First three or four rounds tonight Watch looked as though there. things could be rocky. Statistically, since then, Mayweather has dominated. Zab is just waiting to counter punch right now. He's waiting for that great hey. opportunity. Oh, and there's a low that blow by that was a low blow. And Richard Steele pulls Zab to the off of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather is badly hurt by the low blow. And now Roger Mayweather wants to come after Zab. And now Leonard Ellerby wants Yoel to it. And a riot is going to break out in the ring. <laughs> Going first to the authorities in the ring to try to break it up. Bunch of hotheads in there. It's going to be up to the police and local security to try to stop the madness that is going on in the ring. Shades of Riddick Bowe and Andrew Galata. Roger, so Maywe Roger Mayweather triggered that, believing, I believe, that Judah deliberately punched him low because he was taking such a savage beating. Absolutely. And that was the wrong thing for him to do. He will definitely be fined. He may be, he may be thrown out of the fight. I'm talking about Roger Mayweather triggering this fuss here and unfortunately taking people's minds off the fact that Floyd Mayweather was doing a masterful job Brilliant. in the ring. Let's take a look at what happened. There's the low blow. And I'm afraid you can see why Roger Mayweather might have thought what he thought. And then he hit Floyd on the back of the head as well. So there's the, there's the body blow, which was right on the cup. Here's the right hand to the back of the head. And this is part of why Floyd Mayweather's uncle, Roger Mayweather, reacted the way he did. Yeah. What do you think, Lennox? Be honest. Was it an intentional low blow? Was that intentional? 
Well, the punch in the back of the head was definitely intentional. And a horrible foul, right? Yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad foul. This is why you have to always protect yourself in, in boxing. Yeah, and, and it's also a street move. If I can't beat you one way, I'll get you another way. Well, if it was on purpose, it is as classless as anything we've seen from a fighter in recent years. And now, let's look at Roger Mayweather. There, that's the reason why Roger Mayweather is going to be disqualified and taken away. And then Yoel Jota Yoel Judah came across came the ring. Across and that really ignited it. And that's when Leonard Ellerby, one of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s advisors, got into it with Yoel Judah. Well, we have just learned, Jim, that Roger Mayweather has been thrown out of the corner. Five seconds are remaining in round 10. When the fight resumes, five seconds will remain in round 10. And now the crowd's more excited than ever. Well, they were observing for the last four or five rounds a one-sided massacre. And... Uh, this got their juices flowing again. And the two fighters touch gloves, which is a useful start toward whatever's going to happen next. Now and it's going to be on. It is on. Be on right? It is on. <laughs> who, will, who will lose their poise in this situation? <laughs> Mayweather wants to touch Judah's glove. Richard Steele makes Judah do it. Five seconds left in the round. Judah kind of looks at Steele. And that's the end of the round. Before all the mayhem broke out, that round was totally dominated by Floyd Mayweather Jr. 